surprised we don't have Bull Durham in there. Bull Durham, Mr. Baseball. That was a more y'all's time Kevin period. Costner. <laughs> Easy. Well, it's, it's piped down. Not cool, gang. It's, 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 it's piped down. It's piped down. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to In the Dirt. This is episode seven. I'm Hayden Trevinsky. I'm Alex Malazzo. Today, we have two new additions to our pitching staff. Hi, my name is Fidel Yoa. I am from Lodi, California, and I'm a pitcher here. Hello, my name is Kate Anderson, left-handed pitcher from Massville, Louisiana. Now, Fidel's from California, but he also went to a, a junior college that one of our favorite Tigers went to, Zach Mathis. Tell us a little bit about a little bit about it. Yeah, I mean, it's a junior college, Delta College. It's in uh, Stockton. Great place. Awesome place. Um, Stockton. Grind has come from. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cade, you're from right down the road at St. Paul's High School, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good deal. Well, for starting off this, uh, we're going to have a draft uh, between you two of y'all's best baseball movies, and I'll let Fidel kick it off. Perfect. Uh, yeah, so for my number one pick, I chose Sandlot. I feel like you can't go wrong. Number one pick. Yeah, that's. I feel like that's everybody's first baseball. Like, yeah. uh, my number one is Moneyball. Uh, for my number two, I chose Bad News Bears. Just a funny classic movie. The old one, new one. I the newer one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Uh, mine is Benchwarmers. Great comedy. So good. Uh, for my number I'm three pick, I chose 42, uh, the Jackie Robinson movie. Yeah, it's a good movie. Uh, I went with Million Dollar Arm for number three. Uh, my number four is Hardball. Yeah, G-Baby. Yep. Yeah. remember being 11 years old and watching him get shot with my team. It's heartbreaking. Yep. Yeah, wow. it is a sad movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my number four is Rookie of the Year, classic kid kid growing up movie. Uh, for my number five, I chose one that's really kind of like a low-key movie, I would say. Not a lot of people have watched. It's a uh, perfect game. What's what's that about? I haven't I haven't seen that one. <clears throat> yeah, it's about uh, like this little league team in Mexico, and they're like looking for a coach, and then they find out this coach who was a janitor for I believe the A's or the Anaheim Angels. And he was a janitor. I think so, but okay. he lied about it. He said he was like a ma- he was like a major league player. They end up going to the uh, Little League World Series. It's actually how Al got into this program. <laughs> how? <laughs> Being a janitor. Oh. <laughs> Tell the story. Uh, is that the movie where they wouldn't play until their priest was there yes. in the dugout? Yes, it's that movie. I have seen this yeah, movie. Yeah, I've never seen it. Yeah, I know you haven't. <laughs> Do it and understand. Uh, my fifth is uh, Major League. I've, I w- I'm shocked that's not higher. I, I don't know how that was a fifth. Yeah, it was just good top four for me. So I had to go with five for that one. I'm surprised we don't have Bull Durham in there. Bull Durham, Mr. Baseball. That was uh, more Probably y'all's time Kevin period. Costner. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> well, it's, it's piped down. Not cool, gang. It's, 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 it's piped down. It's piped down. Trying to think of another. You got any baseball movies? Field of Dreams. Field of Dreams yeah, yeah, I don't know how that was in that one. one. Ray Liotta. That's 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 y'all's fault. We didn't draft. Yeah. <laughs> well, obviously, y'all being um, new to the team and new pitchers as well, and us being how they have it phrased on here, old catchers, like we're some old beat yeah, dogs. It's a little bit disrespectful, <laughs> but we're gonna move past it. <laughs> it literally says old catchers. It hurts. Well, anyways, um, what has stood out to y'all the most this spring, I guess, as far as practicing, inner squads, um, just anything about LSU? Um, the excitement around town. You, uh, there's, there's posters and banners everywhere, just the countdown to the season. So I thought that was that's one of the main things, being from Louisiana, just like y'all too, like we grew up here. We know what this is about, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, it's pretty cool the pride people take in this program and this university and all the support we get. So that's always awesome to see leading up into the season. Yeah, absolutely, I would agree with that. Um, I would say kind of just the upbeat tempo of the team. Like I feel like we're you can tell the team's getting more and more excited and more in tune. Like seasons around the corner, obviously. 
yeah, you just see the energy. After after a uh, break and stuff and going into the season during inner squads, who was somebody as far as hitters that you saw that was like, man, that guy's a totally different player. I don't even like throwing to him anymore. Yeah. I know for me, like catching and somebody standing in the box, it was Monster. I think Monster and I think Brass. Yeah. Yeah, I both of them. Like, I don't know about y'all, but when I'm catching and Monster's in there, in the batter's box, I'm like, where do you even throw the ball? Yeah. Like, first of all, he gets super low to the ground, and he's on top of the plate. Yeah. Speaking of bench warmers, it's literally like the scene where he's ducking it, Blue. He's ducking it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <clears throat> no, yeah, I would agree with that. He's definitely a, a tough AB. Yeah, I would, I would say Monster and arguably Aiden as well. There's not really a spot in the strike zone where he's really at risk of striking out at. Uh, what are you two looking forward to the most this season? I know it's your first time in college baseball. Not so much for you. A little bit different in yeah. terms of atmosphere, um, competition. But what are the, what are some of the things that you're looking forward to the most? Yeah, so you kind of named it there. I would say it's like it'll be my first D1 experience. So I'm kind of excited for that, you know. And I feel like you couldn't come to a better place. And obviously LSU, like the atmosphere here is great. Um, yeah, I'm just excited for like SEC play. Like I feel like, especially like I know some teams on the road and stuff like that. Like we'll, it'll be pretty – yeah, it'll be a new new ball game for sure. Yeah, yeah um, I've been I've been waiting this for this all my life. So um, just like the atmosphere of the fans and uh, traveling to uh, other stadiums to play, we got a we got a pretty good uh, travel scene this year: Arkansas, Tennessee, and Mississippi State. Mississippi State. Yeah, yeah. We, I think this is my favorite road schedule. Yeah, yeah Minute Maid have. too. Minute like, Maid too. We get to see Al back in his uh, signature Malazzo boxes out in left right. field. <laughs> If That's you didn't know, stadium. five years ago we hit a homer there. Oh, I thought he was four, but we'll call it five. <laughs> Hell, it could have been eight. <laughs> could have been. <laughs> so, as most of you know, we have pretty, I would say, great mustaches on this show right now. So, I'm going to help everybody out. Is there any uh, tips or tricks y'all got for the mustache game? I feel like he's got – his is a little bit more specialized <laughs> – that's a hammer stoush. Yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, I would just say it's, I don't know if you would agree, it's getting past, like, the awkward stage. Yeah. Like, once you start growing it out, there's, like, one or two weeks where you're like, God, this looks like Yeah, it crap. looks bad. Um, but you just got to get over that and then just yeah. let it grow out, really. Let it do its thing. You had a good one last year. Yeah. I, it wasn't bad. And a bad mullet, but a good mustache. Bad mullet, good mustache. <laughs> yeah. That goes hand in hand. It does. We had, a lot of, we had a lot of them. Yeah, it's a good point. Also, best baseball movie. Or show. Show, it's a show. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's amazing. I don't know if I have any tips or tricks. Uh, tips, I guess, maintenance-wise, don't overdo it. Because then, like, you, you've you done it. You did it. I did it. You did it, what, before Belly's wedding? Yeah, we were going you to... went to, to blo- shave it. And yeah. <laughs> we were going to Beloso's wedding, and the mirror was a little foggy with the shower. Had some steam going on in there. And I lifted it up, you know, get that underhang going. You know, the overhangs, the curtains on uh, it. yeah, uh, yeah. I didn't realize this side fell back down and like my hand was blocking it. And I went in there and just dang, gone. And the whole thing's gone. Yeah, I, I tried to put it back on and it didn't work. <laughs> no, I really don't have any tips or tricks. It took me a while to grow it. Like uh, I wasn't playing last year. And Jared, Jared thought it was funny. So I kept it as a joke. The mustache? Yeah. And then it kept going. Yeah. Until it started. I mean, it's your look now. It is until it isn't. Until I accidentally mess up and shave it off. I like. I do. Yeah. Yeah. So go ahead and check the link in my bio. Um, check the link in my bio, please. Buy everything you can. Everything. Thank you. Well, thank you all for tuning in to In the Dirt, Episode 7. And we'll see you all at the box very soon. Mm-hmm.